So I did another glass comparison the other day on my Twitch stream, which those are fun for me. I take a couple of different pieces. I've been comparing things to my daily driver. The piece that I use most, it's an 18 inch single stage tag beaker. And I use that one a lot, but I like to take other pieces and see if I can find something that hits harder. And I know that there's other pieces out there that do hit harder, but there's kind of a balance of, can I take that larger hit? The bigger the hit, the harsher it is on your throat. So you gotta find this balance of, am I cooling the smoke or vapor off? enough before i really inhale it all well the last test i did the beaker versus the orb and the orb was like surprising it hit really really well i got bigger hits than i thought and a lot of people told me bro you gotta try the cube and well I, I got the cube so it's very similar to the orb right the orb is round this is this it's the same style percolation right you got a single matrix perk in there and instead of it being rounded, well, it's it's a square. This is the Minecraft piece. You're trying to get high in Minecraft and you don't have one of these, you're not gonna get very high. Well, another piece that you can put a whip on or you can put like a mouthpiece on, which I kind of like the whip. It gives me like a hookah-like feel where I can, you know, I can lean back. I don't have to do as much with the piece. I just have this lightweight silicone hose that I can wield around and take my hits off of. It gives you a nice little alternative. I actually did put a real hookah hose on there just to try. And you know, I think hookah hoses are, are I don't know. It, it seems like, what is it made out of? It looked like it was like a regular rubber hose. I know when I use like the whips and stuff, those are like silicone. Those are clear. I can see through them. But the whole time I was, I was getting ready to hit the the hookah whip i just bought it from the store i was like bro what if there's a bug crawling in there and i just inhale it so for like two minutes i was blowing through the hose just to make sure i got anything out because it's like dark blue i couldn't see through it so it's something to think about i do like the clear hoses i maybe need to buy like i don't know 500 feet of clear hose and i can just cut a new one off every few weeks because sure you can clean them or you can just swap and have a brand new one but the hits on this one are nice i don't know if i think it hits harder than the orb but i think it hits harder than the beaker and there's different ways to do it. I actually was doing it without this second stem here, which this one helps clear or push the vapor out instead of trying to pull the air straight through from the top. You pull it down below the water and the bubbles can help push it up. That water can help push it up out of the hose. I was trying to experiment with the different plugs to pull and I ended up just plugging the hole on my pass-through ball, which seemed to be a little bit easier. And then I didn't use that down some. I still need to do more experimenting with it, but it hits really well. It produces a lot of vapor and you don't have to pull super hard. I can make one of these pieces, the orb or the cube bubble for like a really long time. Just keep pulling air through, keep pulling that vapor through and the bubble slowly where some other pieces you can only pull on it so long because you have to pull on it a little bit harder and you pull more air through this has a very controlled airflow or very low airflow i guess i want to say where you're just you're not pulling it as much which is it's good for producing the vapor but i noticed that on clearing it it was harder for me to clear it in like one full breath with the beaker i fill the chamber up and then it's empty like one a split second 0.3 seconds of me pulling straight shot through i clear the vapor on this i pulled the plug any of the plugs i did a combination of them i kind of pull it a little bit more to get the rest of the vapor through so it produces it very well but then when you have a bunch of it built up inside of the piece you can't clear it as easily as something else i think the orb was a little bit easier for me to clean it's a simpler piece but the cube was doing a good job i like this one looks cool and honestly every time i see square glass i've seen like a beaker before with like a square base anytime i see non-rounded stuff i'm like ooh, that's different that looks cool bro so hopefully i can find like uh, the smoky glass color version of this i only saw the clear one but the smoky orb looks so cool so i will say when i compare the beaker to the cube i still like the beaker better i can get a bigger hit with the cube but i get like an easier hit with the beaker it's just like way more natural for me i've hit a beaker a trillion times so it's easier because i have so much more experience also but also i think in general it's just a little bit easier to clear that beaker i think i'm gonna do a comparison on the orb versus the cube soon and just do side by sides on those and then really see because those have a similar style hit when i compare the cube and like the beaker the hit on that's a little bit different 
For both of these, I could use the hose or use the whip on both of them. And I'd be approaching the hit like the same way. So if you want to see the actual hits, go check out that green video website. I'll put the link in the link tree. And if you want to see more experiments live, tune into my Twitch stream. I get high every night, 9 p.m. Eastern. You can support me for free with Amazon Prime. Give me that Jeff Bezos money. And if you missed the orb video, check this one out right here. That thing does monster rips. Have a lit day, my dudes.